was hilfst du nicht, dann hör, was du sie mir gehört hast. Dass du uns deinen Geist gibst und uns hilfst, deinen Charakter zu erkennen. Und uh, please help us to trust in you that uh, you're uh, belonging to these things for us. Und bitte hilf uns, dass wir dir vertrauen können, dass du danach trachtest, uns diese Dinge zu geben. Und uh, yeah, please uh, help us that uh, we are not yeah, trusting in anything of ourselves. Hilf uns, dass wir auch nicht in irgendwas vertrauen, was uns selbst betrifft. In Jesus name. In Jesu Namen. Amen. Okay, turn in your Bibles to Revelation 22. Wir werden unsere Bibel zu Offenbarung 22. Uh, Vers 13. Offenbarung 22, Vers 13. Also wenn wir uns diese Darstellung hier anschauen, dann geht es immer um die Prinzipien. And these principles are all about our unchanging God, who is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Die Prinzipien, die drehen sich immer um diese Tatsache, dass Gott dieser gleiche Gott ist, der immer derselbe ist, gestern, heute und in Ewigkeit. Okay, so in the binding of, right, which is the same as the reform line. In der Zeit des Bindens, was ja letztendlich eine selbe Darstellung ist wie die Reformlinie. We have both the beginning and the end, right? Wir haben den Tod am Anfang und am Ende. Because God has shown us that He's the Alpha and Omega. He, what He does at the beginning, He's going to uh, do at the end, right? Und Gott, der ja das Alpha und das Omega ist, das was er am Anfang tut, tut er auch am Ende. Okay. Now, if you go up to um, Isaiah 46. Wenn wir jetzt zu Jesaja 46 gehen. Vers 9. Jesaja 46 und dann Vers 9. Und 10 wahrscheinlich. Es sagt, Remember the former things of old, for I am God, there is none else, I am God, there is none like me, declaring the end from the beginning. Right? So, he brings in a new, or, or another layer to that same principle. Also er bringt jetzt hier eine weitere Ebene zu diesen Prinzipien zu. Because he says, in verse 10, that he declares the end from the beginning. In verse 10, let's not forget that he declares the end from the beginning. So in verse 9, what does he tell you to do? In verse 9, what does he tell us to do? Remember what? Remember what? Wir sollen gedenken, aber was? Wir oh. sollen den früheren Dingen gedenken. Okay, so in relation to what we are looking at, what's the former things? Und in Bezug auf das, was wir uns bereits angeschaut haben, was sind die früheren Dinge? Yeah. In relation to what we are studying, it's the beginning, right? It's the Anfang. Right? So he's the Alpha and Omega, beginning and the end. Also so therefore, Alpha and das Omega, der Anfang und das Ende. So therefore, the former is the beginning, right? Deswegen sind die früheren Dinge der Anfang. So go to Isaiah 41. Gehen wir jetzt zu Jesaja 41. Vers 21. Jesaja 41, Vers 21. <coughs> It says, Produce your cause, saith the Lord, bring forth your strong reasons, saith the King of Jacob. Let them bring them forth and show us what shall happen. So, what's the Lord telling them to do here? Also, was sagt der Herr, was sollen sie hier machen? Bring forth the strong reasons, which are, this means to show what shall happen. Yes, but okay. The question I'm asking is, 
what are the strong reasons that can show you what's going to happen? Vers 21 und 22. Was sind diese starken Beweise, die dann zeigen können, was passiert? The, the former things, right? Sagt er die früheren Dinge. And, and it says it straight after. It says, let them show the former things, what they be, that we may consider them and know the latter end of them, right? Also nochmal Vers 22. Right? So the former and the latter is the Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, the first and the last. Right? Also das frühere und das spätere ist das Alpha und Omega, erste und zweite. Ne? Alpha und Omega, Anfang und Ende und das erste und das letzte. Right? It's just showing you, just laying on another layer to understand, right? Also eine weitere Schicht, die man sozusagen darüber legen kann. So, the birth that you get at the beginning is the former rain, right? Also die Geburt, die man am Anfang erhält, ist also der Frühring. Right? And the birth that you get at the end is the latter rain, right? It's that simple. Right? Die Geburt, die du am Ende erhältst, ist der Spätregen. So einfach ist das. Now when you understand you have fractals all at different levels, then the, 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 you also have this former and latter rain coming, right? First comes this, followed by this, right? Wenn wir verstehen, dass wir dann immer diese verschiedenen Fraktale haben, die wir dann runterbrechen können, dann ist immer dasselbe Prinzip. Am Anfang ist der Frühregen und am Ende der Spätregen. Okay. So, um, go to Acts chapter 3 and verse 19. Jetzt gehen wir zur Apostelgeschichte 3, Vers 19. Apostelgeschichte 3, 19. So, question. Where on a line and when in prophecy are our sins blotted out? Frage, wo auf unserer Linie und wann in der Prophetie gesehen werden unsere Sünden ausgetilgt. Also in so einer Stunde, wenn du den Test bestanden hast, aber wo in der Prophetie? Am Versöhnungstag. So, just let's uh, read uh, Acts 3, 19. Um, Lesen wir jetzt Apostelgeschichte 3,19. Repent ye therefore and be converted, that your sins may be blotted out, when the times of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord. So, how many things does it mark in there? Wie viele Sachen werden hier dargestellt? Three. Three things, right? Drei Sachen. Repent, be converted, that your sins may be blotted out, right? Also, Fuße, bekehrt euch, dass eure Sünden ausgetilgt werden. And it, and it tells you in here, right, that this is the our investigative judgment of the living begins, right here at the, the midnight crowd, right? Hier beginnt ja das Untersuchungsgericht an den Lebendigen am Mitternachtsruf. And it says, repent, be converted, that your sins may be blotted out, right? Und steht ja, du Buße, bekehrt euch, dass eure Sünden ausgetilgt werden. When? Wann? When the times, plural, of refreshing come, right? When the Zeiten, plural, der Quickung kommen. What are the times of refreshing? Und was sind die Zeiten der Erfrischung? Oder der Form? The, the former and the latter, right? Der frühe und der spätregen. So we take this little fractal, right, which we had yesterday, and bring it here, right? So wir das kleine Fraktal nehmen und jetzt hier ausspannen. What, what do we have? Und was haben wir dann? The former and the latter, right? Also wir hier den früh und dann danach den spätregen. And this is what I mean about these uh, <coughs> these principles of an unchanging God, right? Und das meine ich, wenn ich darüber spreche, dass es die Prinzipien dieses unveränderbaren Gottes gibt. So the Lord at, at every way mark he, he's bringing light which is the former and if you go through to the next part you get the latter. It's a constant uh, it's a constant revelation of light, right? So the Prinzip is in jeder Wegmarke gibt Gott Licht und wenn du das erhältst, ist das der Frühring vom Prinzip her 
und äh, wenn du weiter gehst, also in den nächsten Weg hältst du dann sozusagen den Spätregen. Und das ist eine konstante ja, Fortsetzung dieses Prinzips. Okay, until you receive the full output of the lottery and then the works com complete in you, right? Bis du dann letztendlich ganz am Ende die volle Ausgießung des Spätregens erhältst und das ist dann, wo das Werk in dir abgeschlossen ist. What's interesting is that at the end you also receive full and analysis. Ah, okay, we'll, we'll come to that point. Uh, das ist auch interessant, dass ganz am Ende erhält man ja dann auch nochmal den Früh- und den Spätregen, sagt die Bibel. Aber da kommen wir noch gleich. Oh, okay. Right, so, go to Hosea chapter 6. Gehen wir jetzt zu Hosea 6. Then shall we know if we follow on to know the Lord. His going forth is prepared as the morning, and he shall come unto us as the rain, as a ladder and former rain unto the earth. Right. So, <coughs> right, right here, right in, in uh, verse 1, it's referring to the point that he has uh, torn and smitten his people, but there's a promise that he's going to bind his people up. Right? So here is ja dann in Vers 1 sagt, dass er sein Volk geschlagen und zerrissen hat, aber die Feißen gilt, dass er es wieder verbinden wird. Okay, so, and Sister White marks this in 1850. She, she uses this particular expression when she's talking about the times where she's, it's going to be this, this gathering time, right? Okay, White benutzt das und wendet das auf 1850 an, wo sie dann über diese Sammelzeit spricht. Now, yesterday we were put in a place that these 50 men come right here and they are watching to see what happens between this uh, this change from Elijah to Elijah, right? Gestern haben wir diese 50 Männer angeschaut, die dann kommen und diesen Übergang von Elia zu Elisa beobachten. Okay, so What, what's 50 a, a symbol of? 50 is a symbol of you. Pentecost, right? It's, it's, the, it's the rain that the Lord has, has promised, right? It's the rain that the Herr versprochen hat. And we see that he, when, when the rain comes, he brings both what? And when the rain comes, then he brings what? The forerunner and the latter, right? The früh und den spätregen. Okay, because this is this period here, right? This is this period here. But it says here in verse 2, after two days he will revive us, and the third day he will raise us up in his sight. And there's the number of speaking about these three days here, right? Wenn man Vers 2 gelesen, das spricht sie von diesen drei Tagen. So when you get to the third day, you're going to be raised up. Und wenn du zu diesem dritten Tag kommst, dann wirst du aufgerichtet werden. And it says in verse 3, Sagt uns dann in Vers 3. Then we shall know if we follow on to know the Lord, as going forth as prepared as the morning, he shall come unto us as the rain, as the latter and former rain unto the earth. Right? So the question I, I have is this referring to the latter and former, or is it referring to them both coming here? Right? Yeah, they don't have the same principle as Joe. Also die Frage ist halt, ob dann jetzt Vers 3 sich auf den Früh- und den Spätregen bezieht, dass es sozusagen am Anfang und am Ende kommt, oder ob es sich bezieht, dass der Früh- und Spätregen hier beide zusammen am Ende kommen. Okay, now you see the same problem. Go to Joel, chapter 2, verse 23. Gehen wir nämlich zu Joel, Kapitel 2, Vers 23. 2, Vers 23. And he shows this principle very nicely here. Right? 
Da wird das Prinzip schön dargestellt. Because it says, Be glad in ye children of Zion, and rejoice in the Lord your God, for he hath given you the former rain moderately. And he will ca cause to come down for you the rain, the former and the latter rain in the first month. Right? So, what's he give you here? Also, was gibt er dir hier? The former rain, right? Der den Frühregen und zwar moderat. Okay, but when, so it, when it comes to Pentecost, he's going to give you what? Aber wenn es Pfingsten kommt, was wird er dir geben? Both the former and the sowohl den Früh als auch den Spätregen. Okay, <coughs> former and latter. Right, but so, however, um, I think that we. But yesterday, right? Um, okay, let's just put this in place, right? You've got one, two, three, four, five days to gather manna, right? Wenn wir diese fünf Tage, wo man Manna sammelt. And on the sixth day, you were to gather what? Und am sechsten Tag sollte man was machen? Double, right? Man will double the And I'm making a suggestion that the, the double that you have to gather there is the former and the latter, right? I want to make a suggestion that the double that you have to gather there is the früh and the spätere. Because on the seventh day there was none, right? Because on the seventh day there was none, right? Okay, because everything that you have to... Basically, the, 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 what you get here is going to see you through this time period, right? In dem Sinne, das, was du dann hier unter dem sechsten Tag sammelst, das wird dich durch diesen siebten Tag bringen. Okay, and th this was this sixth day here where you get this double, and this is what we were looking at with this uh, principle with Elijah and Elisha. Das ist dieser sechste Tag, wo du das Doppelte bekommst, das ist das Prinzip von Elia und Elisa. Because he smites the water at the beginning. Right? Denn er schlägt ja das Wasser am Anfang. And he asks them for a double measure, right? Und er bittet dann für dieses doppelte Maß. Right? And then you, you have it, 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 you have this second smite into the waters at the end. Und dann haben wir dieses zweite schlagende Wasser am Ende. But the, the point that I want us to see is that it's, it's after this that he asks them for this, this double measure, right? Aber was ich euch sehen lassen möchte, ist, ist da, danach, dass er ähm, für das doppelte Maß bittet. Right? And it's right here at the end where he gets this double, right? Es ist dann ganz am Ende, wo er dann das Doppelte erhält. Okay, and we'll see this principle at the moment. So as much as the, the, the double here is marking both a, a former and a latter. Und das Prinzip werden wir gleich sehen. Und Wenn das Doppelte hier das, den Früh- und den Spätregen repräsentiert, Which you can see here, was man hier dargestellt sehen kann, it's also marking something that, that comes at the, the end. Markiert das trotzdem auch etwas, was beides am Ende passiert. Okay, because the Lord's... Because it's just like he says, I'll give you the former rain moderately, but I'm going to give you the former and the latter. Und dann sagt er hier Joel, Joel, dass er den Frühregen in Maßen am Anfang gibt und dann am Ende den Früh- und den Spätregen. Right? And you'll see it clearer in a minute when we go down through this, right? Das werden wir vielleicht klarer noch sehen. Right, let's go to this quote from... If you turn to go to Test Mr. Ministers, uh, 5 or 6, it's in, it's in the live stream group. Und das ist jetzt Zitat, das haben wir in der Livestream gruppe Das ist jetzt das TM 506. It says, the latter rain, ripening earth's harvest, represents the spiritual grace that prepares the church for the coming of the Son of Man. But unless the former rain has fallen, there will be no life. The green blade will not spring up. Unless the early showers have done their work, the latter rain can bring no seed to perfection. So what must you have first in order to have the latter? Und den ersten Absatz gelesen, 
Was muss man zuerst erhalten, um den Spätregen zu bekommen? Form. The form, right? The Matic freeway. So you have this principle, right? Former. And then when the ladder comes, it's the former and the ladder. Right? So you have to first the Frühling and then when the Spätregen comes, you have to have the Früh and the Spätregen. It's the same here, you have the former, and when the ladder comes, you have the former and the ladder. Auch hier, wenn du hast den Frühregen und wenn der Spätregen kommt, hast du den Früh- und den Spätregen. Right? It's just a repeating pattern, right? It's das wiederkehrende Muster. Okay, because it says there has to be first the blade, then the ear, and after that the full cone and the ear. So, Absatz. that's with these three points here, the, the blade, the ear, the full cone, right? So here these three Schritte, the Halm, the ear and the full cone in the ear. And it says that if the, if the former rain doesn't fall, what doesn't spring up? Man sagt, wenn der Frühling nicht fällt, was wird dann nicht aufsprossen? The blade won't, won't spring up, right? Und der Halm nicht aufkommen. And I want us to remember the blade, the blade, the uh, the ear and the full corn here is a parallel to what? Und der Halm, der, die Ehre und das volle Korn ist eine Parallele wozu? Yeah, the bud, the blossom, and the fruit. Die Knospe, die Blüte und die Frucht. Where is the fruit first seen? Wo kann man die Frucht das erste Mal erkennen? In the in the bud, right? In the knospe. So when you when you take this down, right, and and bring it here, right? What must come in order for there to be fruit? Also wenn man das jetzt hier nimmt und hier ausspannt, was muss zuerst kommen, damit man diese Frucht sehen kann? The, the former, right? The frühling. So if if you don't receive this at the beginning, there will be no fruit, right? Weil wenn du das am Anfang nicht erhältst, dann kann da keine Frucht sein. Because the bud won't spring up, right? Weil die Knospe ähm, nicht <lacht> aufsprossen wird. Now, uh, uh, um, we go by a parable of the sower. Um, at the Sunday Lord, the seed is sown, right? Also im Gleichnis des Seemanns, da wird ja am Sonntag das Gesetz der Same gesät. Und da kommt ja auch Regen. Der Regen ist ja notwendig, dass dann der Halb aufsprossen kann am Mitternachtshof. Okay, but you've been doing this long enough, Fiona, to know you can't take one thing. No, I'm not saying. Okay, so uh, what, what? I, I'm asking, right, so you, you need this first so that you come to a midnight cry and then you give it again. Well, it, that's not a question, you're making a statement. You have to be clear that you're asking me something, right? Uh, I'm very, yeah, I'm asking a question. So what is it you're asking as well? So, you know, the way I was understanding it, that at the Sunday law, when the seed is sown, there has to be watering take place so that at the midnight cry fruit. Also die Frage ist jetzt, also wie ich das verstanden habe, ist, dass am Sonntagsgesetz wird der Same gesät und dann muss sozusagen der Frühregen darauf fallen, sodass am Mitternachtsruf das dann auch sprossen kann. Okay, but when you bring, you gotta, you gotta bring all these things together. It says, I give you the former rain moderately, right? Und das, das stimmt auch und äh, wir müssen alle Dinge zusammenbringen. And when the latter rain comes, he gives you what? Und er gibt den Frühring in Maßen und wenn der Spätregen kommt, was gibt er dann? Former and the latter, right? Früh und den Spätregen. Right? And then when you come down to, to this fractal, right? Wenn wir dann hinabkommen zu diesem Fraktal. Right at the beginning, Elijah smites the waters, right? Da schlägt ganz am Anfang Elia das Wasser. Which we understand is a baptism, right? Was wir verstehen ist äh, die Taufe. And Elisha says, "Give me a double measure." And Elia sagt, Elisa schon sagt, "Gib mir ein doppeltes Maß." Could he have received the double measure without first having gone through this? No. No. Right? Hätte er ein doppeltes Maß erhalten können, ohne zuvor durch diese Erfahrung zu gehen? It's just a repeating principle, right? It's einfach ein wiederholendes Prinzip. And we've already read that when the when the latter rain comes at Pentecost, how does it come? Wir haben gesehen, dass wenn der Spätring zu Pfingsten kommt, wie kommt er dann? The former and the latter, right? Früh und der Spätring. Right? So, 
And you just take that principle here, you, you, you have the former of the Sunday law. Also wenn wir das Prinzip nehmen, dann haben wir den Frühring am Sonntagsgesetz. And right here you have the, the, the blade, the ear and the full corn. Und da haben wir dann den Halden, die Ehre und das volle Korn. What needs to come before that will spring up? Was muss da sein, bevor das aufsprossen kann? The, the farmer, right? It's right here. Der Frühring. Right. Der da, da, hier dargestellt. Okay, now at midnight there is what made? Na Mitternacht, was wird dort gemacht? A cry, right? Uh, er geht ein Ruf. So, if you don't receive that cry, what will not happen? Und wenn du diesen Ruf nicht erhältst, was kann dann nicht passieren? No, in relation to what we're discussing. In Bezug auf das, was wir jetzt besprochen haben. What, what is the cry? Was ist der Ruf? Uh, yes, it's a message, right? It's the thing that you have to receive in order to go through, right, your, your trial, right? Das, ähm, eine Botschaft, das ist der Frühregen. Das musst du erhalten, um durch deine Prüfung hindurchgehen zu können. Right? Richtig. That would be a parallel to this crossing of the uh, waters here, mm -hmm. right? Also eine Parallele zu diesem Überqueren der Wasser hier. Because it's like in the, the nations being smitten, right? Das ist ja verglichen mit den Nationen, die hier geschlagen werden. Okay, so it's all about the power of God that's, that's bringing these things about. Right? Es geht also um die Kraft Gottes, die das alles hervorbringen wird. Okay, now go to the next paragraph. Lass uns zum nächsten Absatz kommen. It says, many have in a great measure failed to receive the former rain. They have not obtained all the benefits that God has thus provided for them. They expect that the lack will be supplied by the latter rain, when the richest abundance of grace shall be bestowed. They intend to open their hearts to receive it. They are making a terrible mistake. The work that God has begun in the human heart in giving his light and knowledge must be continually going forward. Question. Where did the Lord begin the work in the human heart? Wo fängt der Herr mit dem Werk an menschlichen Herzen? Yeah, it's right here. The first, this when he announces his work to begin the work in the human heart, right? Also hier am Sonntagsgesetz, da verkündigt er den Anfang des Werkes am menschlichen Herzen. Das For us, er ist ein it's been typified in 2014, right? Und für uns wird das ja mit, dem, mit 2014 vorausgeschattet. And right here you got this Rain begins to fall and it's constantly being given us all the way down, right? Und da wird ja dann der Regen gegeben und der wird beständig ausgegossen den ganzen Weg über. But if you're not gathering the rain, the former rain, which is the oil, Aber right? wenn du den Frühregen nicht sammelst, was das Öl da ist, which is the manna, was auch das Manna ist, what will you not receive here? Was wirst du dann hier nicht erhalten können? The, the double measure, das right? doppelte Maß. Right? The double manna that you are to get on the sixth day. Das doppelte Maß an Manna, was du am sechsten Tag erhältst. So you take this now and you bring it down here, right? Wenn du das jetzt nimmst und dann hier unten ausspannst. Same principle, right? Selbes Prinzip. Right at the end here, he got this double measure, right? Am Ende hatte hier das doppelte Maß erhalten. But he couldn't get it without having this at the beginning. Aber er konnte right? das nicht erhalten, ohne das zu erst zu erhalten, was am Anfang war. It's like with Job, right? You have to, because it's two phases always. You first have to pass the first phase, yes. phase and if you're not successful in the first phase, you, you can't not. get in the second phase. Peeling yes. pattern, right? Job, he must first through the first phase under his second test come, and if he had not passed, he would not have the test with Ibu bestehen können. Right? So immer die wiederholende Muster. Also, if, not only with alignment of my friends, but also the first phase. Also, die erste Phase und die zweite Phase. Yeah. If you don't pass this phase, you, you won't come into this phase, right? Also on the top of und natürlich, das, also wenn du die erste Phase nicht bestehst, kannst du die zweite Phase nicht bestehen. Das ist auch ein well, großer Prozess. Ja, das ist das selbe Prinzip. Right. It says, uh, the work that God has begun in the human heart and given his light and knowledge must be continually going forward. So it tells you there that it's light and knowledge, right? It's the former race. Every individual must realize his own necessity. 
the heart must be emptied of every defilement and cleansed for the indwelling of the Spirit. It was by the confession and forsaking of sin, by earnest prayer and consecration of themselves to God, that the early disciples prepared for the outpouring of the Holy Spirit on the day of Pentecost. Right? So, what's the preparation to be done in this time period? Lass die Vorbereitung, die, die wir in dieser Zeit hier machen. It's gathering the light and knowledge, right? Es ist äh, dieses Licht und diese Erkenntnis zu sammeln. And what will it do? Und was wird das machen? Must empty the heart and the right, it must make you realize your need so that you can confess, forsake your sins and empty your heart of every defilement, right? Es äh, führt dazu, dass deine Bedürftigkeit erkennbar wird, also dass du dann Buße tun kannst und dein Herz von jeder Verunreinigung reinigen kannst. And prepare for the latter rain that's given, that's been given on the day of Pentecost, right? So dass du vorbereitet sein kannst für den Spätring, der am Pfingsttag ausgegossen wird. So right here we have, we have this Pentecostal season that's a doubling, right? It's going to be the former and the latter, right? Also hier haben wir dann diese Pfingstzeit, die eine Doppelung ist wo du den Früh- und den Spätregen noch mal erhältst. Right, and it just takes you to this fractal. It's exactly the same principle, right? Das bringt dich dann hinab zu diesem Fraktal und da hast du genau dasselbe Prinzip wieder. Okay. So, um, uh, it says, the same work only in greater degree must be done now. Then the human agent had only to ask for the blessing and wait for the Lord to perfect the work concerning him. It is God who began the work and he will finish his work. Right? It's the Alpha and Omega. He begins and finishes, right? Uh, making man complete in Jesus Christ. But there must be no neglect of the grace represented by the former reign. Only those who are living up to the light they have will receive greater light. Unless we are adva daily advancing in the exemplification of the active Christian virtues, we shall not recognize the manifestation of the Holy Spirit in the latter rain. It may be falling on hearts all around us, but we shall not be sent or receive it. So it's a constant advancement, early, latter, early, latter, all, all, all the way down, right? This is a ständiges Fortschreiten, früh, spätregen, frühregen, spätregen, immer so weiter. And is it also one group is receiving the early uh, or the later and the other group is in the same time receiving the latter? Uh, let's not confuse things. Just, we just deal with each person goes through the same test, right? Okay. It says, at no point in our experience can we dispense with the assistance of that which enables us to make the first Start, right? So it's always something that's given at the beginning, right? Das ist immer etwas, was am Anfang gegeben werden muss. So, what Satan going to try to get you to do? Was versucht Satan mit dir zu tun? When he comes to test you, what's he going to try to get you to do? Wenn er dich you... kommt zu testen, was wird er versuchen mit dir zu tun? Okay, <lacht> neglect the former ring, right? Also die frühere Erfahrung zu verwerfen, also den Frühregen. Zu it's going to try to get you to say what you was given before you were convicted about was false, right? That's what he's going to try, because then you can't get the love. Right? Sagen, das, was du vormals äh, als Wahrheit erkannt hast, wo du geführt worden bist, das ist falsch. Denn er weiß, dass wenn er das wegnehmen kann, kannst du auch den Spätregen nicht erhalten. The blessings received under the former reign are needful to us to the end, right? So if you deny your past experience, can't get the refreshing at the end, right? Der zweite Satz ist, äh, wenn wir unsere vergangene Erfahrung verleugnen, dann können wir die Erfahrung am Ende nicht erhalten. Yet yeah, these alone will not suffice. While we cherish the blessing of the early rain, we must not, on the other hand, lose sight of the fact that without the latter rain, to fill out the years and ripen the grain, the harvest will not be ready. So, what is this point teaching us? Also, was sagt uns dieser Punkt? Das ist jetzt der dritte und vierte Satz. What is the former and the latter rain? Was ist der frühe und der spätere? Look at the board. What is the former and the latter rain? 
Was ist der Früh- und der Spätruf? Two bucks, right? So what's it tell us? Zwei Geburten. Und was sagt uns das? You need to be born again, right? Wir brauchen beide Geburten. Wir müssen von neuem geboren werden. This is the other, of course, the same, the other end of the scale, right? Denn das ist dieser andere Abfall am anderen Ende der Seite. People think that they have this, what they have at the beginning, they, 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 they don't need to be born again, right? Leute denken ja, dass das, was am Anfang mit ihnen geschehen ist, das würde ausreichend sein und sie müssen nicht nochmal von neuem geboren werden. Okay. It says, while we cherish the blessing of the early rain, we must not, on the other hand, lose sight of the fact that without the latter rain to fill out the years and ripen the grain, the harvest will not be ready for the sickle, and the labor of the sower will have been in vain. Divine grace is needed at the beginning. Divine grace at every step. Of advanced. What are the steps? Also, steht göttliche Gnade braucht äh, ist bei jedem Schritt des For Fortschritts notwendig. Okay. Und was sind diese Schritte? Think, think about it. Yesterday we had the reform line up here, mm -hmm. right here to here, right? Erinnert euch, gestern hatten wir die Reformlinie hier aufgezeichnet mm -hmm. von Anfang bis zum Ende. Right. So, and, and we had a birth at the beginning and a birth at the end. Right. Er hat seine Geburt am Anfang und am Ende. But What, what's the reform line? What, when you understand this, what's it teaching you? Was lehrt uns die Reform in Bezug auf das hier? Every waymark light comes, right? Also jeder Wegmarke kommt Licht. Right? Richtig. So every waymark light comes, and if you accept the light, there's a spiritual advancement. If you reject the light, then spiritual declension, right? Wenn jeder Wegmarke kommt Licht. Wenn du das Licht annimmst, dann kannst du fortschreiten. Wenn nicht, dann wirst du geistlich abnehmen. So what's it teaching us about the former rain? Also was lehrt uns das über den Frühring? It says it there, it's a constant advancement mm. at every step, right? Es lehrt uns, dass es ein beständiger Fortschritt an jedem Schritt ist. The former rain is not just one little understanding, it's a constant advancement, right? Der Frühring ist nicht nur ein kleines Verständnis irgendwie am Anfang, sondern es ist ein beständiges Fortschreiten. Are we always on a weekly, daily basis here receiving new thoughts, right? Erhalten wir nicht auf einer wöchentlichen oder sogar täglichen Basis neue Gedanken aus Gottes Wort? Sister Weiss says, those that don't keep up with the advancing glory of the third angel will be left behind, right? Weiss sagt, diejenigen, die nicht fortschreiten mit dem fortschreitenden Licht des dritten Engels, werden zurückgelassen werden. Sister Weiss is called where she... Combined justification by faith with the narrow path, which says the cross is at every step. Elinor sagt ja auch, wo sie Gerechtfertigung aus Glauben mit dem schmalen Pfad, mit dem schmalen Pfad vergleicht. Da sagt sie, dass das Kreuz an jedem Schritt ist. Right. So you get the principle, right? It's shown you on a large scale, but then you can understand it. It's like there, every step you take, it's the exact same principle. Zeigt uns das auf dieser großen Ebene. Dort, wenn wir das Prinzip dahinter verstehen, dann können wir sehen, dass es an jedem Schritt, an jeder Wegmarke zu finden ist. Right. The, the principle is that if you receive the first and you take that step forward, you're going to get double. Das Prinzip ist, dass uh, wenn du das am Anfang erhältst und vorwärts gehst, wirst du das Doppelte erhalten. And that double, as you step forward, will be doubled. Und dieses Doppelte, wenn du dann wieder weiter fortschreitest, wird wiederum verdoppelt werden. And we, do we see that? Können wir das sehen? Right? It's growing, constantly getting bigger and bigger, right? Es es wird immer größer und größer. Okay. It says, uh, there is no place for us to rest in a careless attitude. What, what do we see here at the end of the 2300 days? Wir dürfen nicht in einer leichtsinnigen Haltung äh, ruhen. Careless and different Yeah, two groups. One group is careless and indifferent, right? Oder viel besser ist sorglos, die Übersetzung. Was sehen wir hier in der Vision am Ende der 2300 Tage? Da gibt es diese Gruppe, die sorglos und uninteressiert ist. We must never forget the warnings of Christ. Watch unto prayer. Watch and pray always. A connection with the divine agency every moment is essential to our progress. We may have had a measure of the Spirit of God, 
but by prayer and faith we are to continually to seek more of the Spirit. It will never do to cease our efforts. If we do not progress, if we do not place ourselves in an attitude to receive both the former and the latter rain, we shall lose our souls, and the responsibility will lie at our own door. Right? All, all see the principle. And here is the principle. Right. The natural thing is it's a spiritual one. You, you see a, a blade spring up. If you if you look at it under a microscope, it's cell division. One cell produces two, two produces four, four produces eight, as long as it's drawing nourishment from the root. Or so the rain. So in the nature can we observe that when the rain outsprays, sprossed, then can we see that when it grows, that the cells constantly multiply. Yes. The point is that we cannot rest until we get into the city, right? Until we cross that chasm, and then you find rest for your souls, right? The point is, we können uns nicht ausruhen, bevor wir in diese Stadt gekommen sind. Erst dann finden wir Ruhe für unsere Seelen. So go back to Acts chapter 3. Gehen wir zurück zur Apostelgeschichte 3. So, uh, let's read verses 19 to 23. Uh, Geschichte 3, Verse 19 bis 23. Repent ye therefore and be converted, that your sins may be blotted out, when the times of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord. And he shall send Jesus Christ, which before was preached unto you, whom the heaven must receive until the times of restitution of all things, which God had spoken by the mouth of all his holy prophets since the world began. For Moses truly said unto the fathers, The prophet shall the Lord your God raise up unto you of your brethren, like unto me. Him shall ye hear in all things whatsoever he shall say unto you. And it shall come to pass that every soul which will not hear the prophets shall be destroyed from among the people. Okay. Now, First question is where on our line is God raising up a prophet? The first question is where on our line is God raising a prophet? Up. So, sorry? No. Yeah, yes, at the, at the midnight. Uh, uh, Why is it not in the time? It's here. This is where he raises up a prophet. Okay, you're saying that, but I'm asking why is it so? Why is it not the time of the end? Is that not okay. the prophet? Is why, why are you... The, the reform lines, where is always a prophet raised up? Warum? That's why I'm asking. Wo wird an den Reformlinien immer ein Prophet aufgerichtet? Okay, so... Where is, where is the way, Mark, where you've always got the, the formalization of the message in a prophet, Mark? Wo ist die Wegmarke, wo wir immer eine Formulierung der Botschaft haben und einen Prophet markiert sehen? Always this way, Mark, right? Immer in der mittleren Weg. Daniel, John, Elijah, etc. Ja, ja, Daniel, so Johannes so und Elia. When we say raised up, it means from something to something. No, the, this, is Mark, this is the point where the prophet begins to speak. Right? Right. Prophet, then you would have to say that that's the point where the prophet is raised up, not being raised up. That's the confusion for me. Müsste man sagen, der Prophet ist dort aufgerichtet worden und nicht wird dort aufgerichtet. Well, it might be confusion for you, but it doesn't mean that it's not right. No, I'm not saying it's not right. I'm just, I'm just saying why that's confusion because something being raised up is something from something to something. Das äh, hört sich sonst verwirrend an, weil man sagt, wird aufgerichtet. That is something. Sorry. 
dann können wir sagen, dass es ein Prozess ist, wo jemand aufgerichtet wird. Aber wenn jemand aufgerichtet worden ist, dann ist das ein Punkt. There's nothing guaranteed at this point, right? What's this right here? No, this. No, what's this right here? Three steps. Also it's the, this here? It's the blade, the uh, yeah. ear and the full cord, right? It's the um, helm, the ear and the full cord. Where, where are you sent? Wo wirst du gesandt? At the night of. So there, there's where the prophet's complete, right? So in a Stunde da ist, wo der Prophet vollständig ist. And there's where he's raised up, right? Hier ist, wo er aufgerichtet wird. Right? Now, I'm not denying that it's prefigured at the time of the end, because this is also the time of the end. But if we want to be clear, right? It's this way mark on the reform line, right? Ich möchte es nicht verleugnen, dass es in der Zeit des Endes voraus geschattet wird, hier sind die Parallele, aber wenn wir genau sein wollen, ist es hier. So, we take this, right, what do you have? You have the time at the end, increase the knowledge, profit leads up, right? It's always this way mark. Okay. Und wenn wir das kleinere Fraktal nehmen, sieht man da Zeit des Endes und da in der Mitte wird der Profit aufgerichtet. Das ist immer diese mittlere Wegmarke. Right, because you just, uh, oh, this mark. I don't want to confuse things at this point, right? I was going to, but we won't because that's going to add other thoughts that I don't want at the moment, right? So, so the, go back to Acts 3.19, right? So, so it says that um, we are to repent, be converted, that your sins may be blotted out, right? And he's going to send Jesus Christ. Bekehrt euch, dass eure Sünden ausgetilgt werden und er wird Jesus Christus senden. Okay, and in verse 21 it calls this the times of restitution, right? In Vers 21 nennt äh, Petrus das jetzt hier die Zeiten der Wiederherstellung. Okay, so the times of refreshing are also the times of restitution. Deswegen die Zeiten der Erquickung sind auch die Zeiten der Wiederherstellung. And that's this here, this baptism at the beginning and this Baptism at the end, right? This is the Taufe here at the beginning and at the end. Okay, it's this time where the Lord is going to restore His people to as they were in the former days, right? And that's this time where the Herr sein Volk wiederherstellen wird wie in den früheren Tagen. And it says that that God has spoken by the mouth of all His holy prophets about this time period, right? Then it says here that the Herr through the mouth of all His holy prophets über diese Zeit hier gesprochen hat. And that's why we were lining up the reform line from the time of the end to the time where it's complete at this point here, right? Deswegen können wir die Reformlinie von der Zeit des Endes bis zu dem Punkt hier dann mit dieser Linie parallel setzen. To show you that this is the three angels' messages, this is the seven thunders, this is the time of the end. It's, everything's all incorporated into this one little Deswegen zeigt uns das, dass das hier also eine Darstellung der drei Engelsbotschaften ist, der sieben Donner und alle Dinge sind dort in diesem kleinen Test vorzufinden. Right? It's all brought down in a microcosm into your own little test. You're going to go through everything right in a one up, right? Deswegen alles wird sozusagen in diesen einen Test äh, auf einer kleineren Ebene dann zusammengepackt und du gehst durch alles hindurch. Okay, right. So, and it says that um, that if you don't hear that prophet, you get destroyed from among the people, right? Und in Vers 23 sagt uns ja, dass wenn du diesen Propheten nicht hörst, dann wirst du aus dem Volk ausgerottet werden. So, and on the, on the big fractal, in one sense, he raises up a prophet there who gives a crap. Right? Im großen Fraktal richtet er hier einen Propheten auf, der einen Ruf gibt. Right? Which is here. Right? Was hier ist. But that, even that prophet that gives the cry has also got to go through his test till he gets here. Right? Aber sogar dieser Prophet, der den Ruf gibt, der muss mm -hmm. durch seinen Test gehen. Und das ist hier. But the principle is, if you don't hear the message that comes in the beginning and follow it all the way through, you're going to be destroyed. Das right. Prinzip ist, dass wenn du nicht äh, die Botschaft erhältst, die am Anfang gegeben wird, und dann hindurch gehst bis zum Ende, dann wirst du zerstört werden. Because you got to receive the 
Forma Andamara, which is the two births, right? Man muss ja den Früh- und den Spätregen erhalten, das sind diese zwei Geburten. Right? Richtig. Okay. So, and, and just go to Deuteronomy 18. Gehen wir jetzt zu 5. Mose 18. Verses 18 to 20. 5. Mose 18. And Sandra, if you want to read that, I'll read. Und dann die Verse 18 bis 20. I will raise them up a prophet from among their brethren, like unto thee, and I will put my words in his mouth, and he shall speak unto them all that I shall command him. And it shall come to pass that whosoever will not hearken unto my words, which he shall speak in my name, I will require of him. But the prophet which shall presume to speak a word in my name, which I have not commanded him to speak, Okay, so this is uh, Moses was the type and is pointing them to to Christ. That was what we read in Acts 3:19. Right? Moses was the type, and that was the type of Christ. That's what we in Apostolic 3 read. Okay, so it's all about this. It's all about the the the, the message. That he brings to the messenger, right? Es geht immer um die Botschaft, die der Herr durch seinen Botschafter bringt. And in Christ Object Lessons it says, uh, how, I can't remember exactly how it goes, but you says, you, how do you treat my message? Your eternal destiny depends upon the way that you receive it or, or reject it, right? Das sind christliche Gleichnisse, das schreibt dann Ellen White, ähm, stellt Gott die Frage, wie äh, gehst du mit meiner Botschaft um? Und dein ewiges Schicksal wird davon abhängen, wie du sie empfängst oder ablehnst. Now, in the, in the reform line from 1798 to 1844, which is 46 years, right? Also in der Reformlinie von 1798 bis 1844 sind das ja 46 Jahre. Right, which is this, showing you this structure right here, right? Das zeigt uns diese Struktur hier. The seven thunders, right? Da gibt's ja sieben Donner. And seven thunders is God speaking seven times, right? Und äh, sieben Donner sind ja sieben Mal, dass Gott spricht. And him speaking is the rain, right? It's how it comes to you, right? Und wenn er spricht, ist das ja der Regen, der zu ihm kommt. So right in here is this constant advancement. Every time he speaks, you have to receive the light all the way down. It's, it's the perfection work, right? Sieben Male sind die Gott dann hier was spricht und es ist dieses Vollkommenheitswerk. Because it says at every step we have to advance, right? Es sagt uns ja an jedem Schritt müssen wir vorwärts kommen. Now remember, uh, Elijah sends his his messenger to pray how many times? Seven. Also Elijah sendet ja seinen Botschafter. He sent his messenger. Well, he sends him seven times, and Elijah prays seven times. Also Elia sendet seinen Knecht aus wie oft sieben Mal, weil Elia sieben Mal betet. Okay, maybe I never said that. Excuse me. But the point is, I want to make that that does. This watching unto prayer that Christ is talking about, which is to do with the former rain, right? Christus sagt, wir sollen wachen und beten, und äh, das ist in Verbindung mit dem Frühling. Es ist marked seven times, right? Und das ist auch siebenmal markiert. What are they praying for? Worum beten sie? The latter rain, right? Für den Spätling. But you can't receive the latter rain unless you receive the former, right? Und du kannst den Spätling nicht erhalten, sei denn du hast zuvor den Frühling erhalten. And Christ says, in order to receive the former, you must be watching up to prayer, right? Und Christus sagt, um äh, den Frühling zu erhalten, musst du beten. Now, this is the Day of Atonement, right? Das ist der Versöhnungstag, richtig? Th this is your investigative judgment of the living, individually. Und das ist ja dein Untersuchungsgericht an den Lebenden auf einer individuellen Ebene gesehen. Go to Leviticus 16. Gehen wir zu 3. Mose 16. Verses 14 and 15. 3. Mose 16. Verse 14 and 
Also 14 und 15. Can you read that for us, please, Susie? And he shall take of the blood of, of the bullock and sprinkle it with his fingers upon the mercy seat eastward, and before the mercy seat shall he sprinkle of the blood with his fingers seven times. Then shall he kill the goat of the sin offering that is for the people, and bring his blood within the veil, and do with the blood as he did with the blood of the and sprinkle it upon the mercy seat and before the mercy seat. Okay, right. What is Aaron, what, what day is this here in Leviticus 16? The day of atonement, right? The Versöhnungstag. What is Aaron doing in verse 14? What does Aaron do in verse 14? He sprinkles with his finger the blood of the bullock. Uh, yes, that, 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 that's what he's doing. But, but what's the blood of the bullock for? For his own sin. But where does it go here when the blood of the bullock? Okay, he has to first deal with his own sin, right? Uh, Tilt them with first his own sin. Right? What's the blood a symbol of? And for which does the blood symbol? Eat my flesh and drink my blood, or you have no life in you. Right? Ist mein Fleisch und trinkt mein Blut, sonst hast du kein Leben. What is it? Also, worum geht es da? Yes, in John 6, it's the manna, right? Das Wort Gottes ist das, das Manna. And the manna is the former rain, right? Und das Manna ist der Frühling. So it comes how many times? Es kommt wie oft? Seven times, right? Sieben Mal. Now, what you get, this is the seventh thunder, right? God is speaking seven times, right? Das sind die sieben Donner, das ist, wo Gott sieben Mal spricht. What to pray seven times? Wir sollen sieben Mal beten. Christ was tested seven times. Christus wurde sieben Mal getestet oder verhört. Right? It's a symbol of this constant advancement until your sin is purged, right? Das ist ein Symbol für dieses beständige Fortschreiten, bis deine Sünde letztendlich gereinigt ist. From birth. At the beginning to the birth at the end. From the Geburt am Anfang zur Geburt am Ende. So once he's done himself, what does he now do? Und sobald er seine eigene Sünde hier gereinigt hat, was tut der Hohepriester jetzt? For the people. Okay, now, now, now he's ministering for the people and he does the same with seven times for the people. Jetzt dient er dem Volk und er macht dasselbe. Mal für das Volk. Right? Richtig. That brings you down to this fractal. Das right? bringt dich hinab zu diesem Fraktal hier. Okay. So, I mean, I, I, I've got here the, the test here is represented for the virgins first and, and then for the lost sheep and the Gentiles. Das ist hier, dass der Test zuerst für die Jungfrauen ergeht und dann für die verlorenen Schafe und die Heiden. But you can see it's the same principle, those first. <coughs> Seven times, right, for the 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 uh, for the messenger, and then he's going to intercede for those others, right? Das ist erstmal die sieben Zeiten für den Botschafter, und dann wird er für die anderen eintreten. Okay, see, it's, it's shown your principle, right? It's like the principle. That you you can't do public evangelism unless you've pulled the beam out your own eyes, right? Du kannst keine mm -hmm. öffentliche Evangelisation machen, es sei denn, du hast den Balken zuerst aus deinem eigenen Auge geholt. Okay, so now yesterday we were putting in this uh, point that you have first of all Job's three friends come to him and then they cease. Und zunächst einmal diese drei Freunde von Hiob und dann hören sie ja auf. Right? And it's immediately followed by the wrath of Elias. These two times of trouble, right? Das wurde ja dann unmittelbar gefolgt von diesem Zorn des Elihu. Das sind diese zwei Zeiten der Trübsal. Okay. So, now, we remember that the wrath of Elihu was brought upon Job mm. and the three friends, right? Denk dran, der Zorn des Elihu kam nicht nur über Hiob, sondern auch über die drei Freunde. Okay. 
okay, when you have to understand that, but it's brought upon on, 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 on both right there. Right? So it will buy the good luck. Then you, you, you'll, you'll see this in a moment, right? Now, when Elihu comes here and starts to, to test Job, what does Job do? Und äh, wenn jetzt hier Elihu auftritt und äh, Hiob testet, was macht der Hiob dort? He's quiet. Right, he's, he's dumb, right? Er ist stumm. He says nothing. Er sagt nichts. And all you need to see is just a parallel to this experience, right? Das ist ein Parallel zu dieser Erfahrung. Because when Christ went to the cross, what was he? Denn als Christus ans Kreuz ging, was war er? Dumb, dumb to the slaughter, right? Stumm. Okay, now, now uh, you just see it's a constant re repeating pattern, right? Ständig sich wiederholendes Muster. Go to Job uh, 42. Gehen wir zu 42. And verse 7. Hier 42 und dann Vers 7. Okay, Daniela, if you want to read that first, please. 42, 7. And it was so that after the Lord had spoken these words unto Job, the Lord said to Eliphaz the Temanite, My wrath is kindled against thee and against thy two friends, for ye have not spoken of me the thing that is right, as my servant Job hath. So, whose wrath? is kindled against them. The Lord's wrath, right? Is the Lord's wrath is kindled here through whom? Okay, now when the Lord's wrath is kindled, he does it through whom? When the Lord's wrath is kindled, he does it through whom? Wird das hier auf der Erde manifestiert. Er macht es right? Tut es durch seine Agenten. In this sense, uh, uh, Elihu. In diesem Sinne, Elihu. But I want you to see that, that the Lord's wrath kindled here is, is down here near the end. It's just a repeating pattern, right? Ich möchte euch zeigen, dass hier der Zorn des Herrn hier am Ende ist. Es ist einfach ein wiederholendes Muster. It's here. Es ist hier. Right? Because this is the which hour? Deswegen, welche Stunde ist das hier? Dieser Faktor. As the ninth hour for this group, right? Die neunte Stunde für diese Gruppe. But it's the sixth hour in one sense for the next group. Aber right? es ist die sechste Stunde in einem Sinne für die andere Gruppe. Right? Richtig. Lots of repeating patterns. So you have to see this point, mm -hmm. right? Das sind sich wiederholenden Muster. Das müssen wir sehen. But the point I want to make is that this test is now finished. But it says that the Lord brings his wrath. Now I want you to, to see this because this is important. Aber wir müssen sehen, dass uh, dieser Test jetzt hier zu Ende ist und der Herr bringt dann seinen Zorn. Because we, we also have the, the wrath. Right here, right? Wir haben den Zorn hier markiert. Okay. So, back to Job. Zurück zu Hiob. Daniela, read uh, verses just read verse 8. Therefore take to you now seven bullets and seven rams and go to my servant Job and offer up for yourselves a burnt offering which my servant Job shall pay for you. For him will I accept, lest I deal with you after your calling. In that ye have not spoken of me a thing which is right, like my servant Job. Right. So, right here, on the day of atonement, the high priest goes in and he offers blood seven times, right? Mm -hmm. Right. Right. And you come down here, same principle. What's the Lord telling them to do now? Right. And you come down here, same principle. What's the Lord telling them to do now? Same principle. Then here, under, what says the Lord? What's the Lord telling them to do now? Seven bullets and seven rams, right? So on here, seven. Stiere und Widder offen. Na gut. Okay, so, ist der Probation closed? Ist ihre Gnadenzeit schon zu? No. no, right? And I want you to see this, right? Und das möchte ich euch sehen lassen. Because he says, do this unless I deal with you 
according to your folly. So who sagt are ihr hier in Vers 8, äh, tut das, damit ich nicht gemäß eurer Torheit mit euch handle. They're, they're, they're foolish, right? Sie sind töricht. But they're not the, they're not the foolish virgins, right? Sie sind nicht die törichten Jungfrauen. I want to suggest to you that these are these ones that have been deceived. These are these lost sheep, which are, which are foolish, but, but they still have an opportunity, right? Deswegen möchte ich vorschlagen, dass das hier diese verlorenen Schafe sind. Die sind zwar töricht, aber sie haben noch eine Möglichkeit zu. Right? So the wrath is in. They get this opportunity now to uh, to to hear the message, right? Jetzt die Möglichkeit, die Botschaft nochmal zu hören. Okay, and if you read uh, Daniel, read verses 9 through 12, please. Lesen wir noch die Verse 9 bis 12. So Elias the Temanite and Elia the Shuhite and Sephar the Lamanite went and did according as the Lord commanded them. The Lord also accepted Job. And the Lord turned the captivity of Job when he prayed for his friends. Also the Lord gave Job twice as much as he had before. Okay, so this right here is the point, this is the point where Job gets accepted, right here, right? Das ist hier der Punkt, wo Hiob dann angenommen wird, richtig? And what does he give him? Und was gibt er ihm? Twice as much, right? It's right there. Doppelt der Maß. Right? Richtig. Have we seen that principle? Right. And, and what does Job do? Und was macht der Hiob jetzt? Prays for his friends, right? Er betet jetzt für seine Freunde. Job's gone through his test and now he's able to intercede for his friends, right? Also Hiob ist jetzt durch seinen Test gegangen und jetzt ist er in der Lage für seine Freunde für Bitte zu Because he's received the double measure, right? Er das doppelte Maß jetzt selbst erhalten hat. Okay. Then came there unto him all his brethren and all his sisters and all they that had been of his acquaintance before and did eat bread with him in his house. And they bemoaned him and comforted him over all the evil that the Lord had poured upon him. Every man also gave him a piece of money and every one an earring of gold. So the Lord blessed the latter end of Job more than his beginning. Okay, read that again. What did he do? Verse 12, please, one of them. So the Lord blessed the latter end of Job more than his beginning. Okay, he blessed the latter more than the beginning, right? The former and the latter, right? He had the last end more blessed than the beginning. And when the latter came, what did he give him? Das spätere kam, was hat ihm gegeben? Double, right? Doppelt im Maß. Okay, so you see this when the ladder consists of both the former and the ladder, right? The double. Right? Wenn wir dann wieder sehen, das Prinzip, dass der spätere eben sowohl das frühere als auch das spätere beinhaltet. Okay, and the point is that um, Job, Job, everybody comes now to Job because it says that if I be lifted up, I will do what? Jeder so, kommt ja jetzt hier zu hier, denn es steht ja geschrieben, wenn ich erhöht worden bin, dann werde ich was machen? I will draw all men. Dann werde ich alle Menschen zu mir ziehen. Why did Noemi come back to God's people? Warum kam Noemi zurück zu Gottes Volk? She heard that there was bread in the house, right? Sie hat gehört, dass es dort Brot gab im Haus. And what's Job doing? Und was Macht hier auch jetzt. Eating bread with them all, right? Er isst hier Brot mit ihnen allen. Right? Richtig. So I want you to see that these re re repeating patterns, it's, it's important for us to understand what's actually taking place in this illustration. Right? Wir müssen hier die verkehrende Muster erkennen und das ist wichtig, um zu verstehen, was da eigentlich vor sich geht. Okay, so we're going to stop here, but we will continue with this because there's many other things that we have to lay wir werden jetzt hier abschließen und da gibt es noch viele Dinge, die wir noch dann auch hineinfügen können. But everybody get the points this this month. Right? Kann jeder diese Punkte erkennen? Okay. First Elijah and then the widow. <laughs> yes, first Elijah and then the widow. That's good. Elijah gets fed first. Yes. Im Prinzip sieht man zuerst kommt Elia dran und dann die Witwe. Und 
hier zuerst das Essen.